Today's episode, Missy and I are talking about relaxing. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. podcast where Missy and I talk about life tips and daily things that you can do to find your inner peace, to find your happiness, and uh, specifically today to relax a bit. Yeah. That's what we're going to be talking about is how <laughs> life can be, um, you know, and it can be definitely not relaxing. So we'll talk a bit about relaxing. Yeah. So how are you doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, life, life couldn't be better. Um, definitely in the mood for relaxing. And so uh, it's definitely going to be a great topic. And, and uh, hopefully we'll get to, you know, chat about the things that we do when we actually do stop. Because I know you're a, a doer and a goer like I am. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> way, way too much stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, why, uh, I mean, I know for me, but why do you think some people tend to do that? Just like go, go, go. And, you know, cause I, I, I know I, I get a lot of clients who will, you know, say to me, well, you know, I'm stressed cause I, I know I'm doing too much, but I just can't help it. Um, uh, you know, it seems to be the common thing where people always add the, but I can't help it piece. Yeah. So like, if you know, then why are you doing it? I think it's the, um, there's probably a lot of different answers to that. And I think that one of them is that we feel like in doing things, we are successful. That, you know, oh, I accomplished this, I've accomplished this. And so now I feel like I'm successful and I'm good at whatever it is that I was doing. But I think they also, the, the other answer would be like, uh, I think that it's just a distraction. I think it's a distraction from maybe the beliefs, the stories, the things that we know uh, are trying to emerge from us, but we're scared, we have anxiety about, or even we don't want to look at because we don't, we don't want to feel the pain from healing from it. So I think that uh, probably more so the second one than the first, unfortunately, but um, that's what, that's what I come to to, uh, find when I, when I talk to people and actually really get to the core of you know, uh, what keeps them so busy. Right. And, and I, I think both of those, you know, really, uh, you know, nailed the core issue of this, you know, that we're not just over busy because we want to be over busy. Uh, but I would definitely agree that I think a lot of it has to do with what am I avoiding yeah. And what don't I really want to look at in, in my own life? So I, I keep busy. And the positive end about that is the number one you mentioned, you know, because our society does judge us by our productivity. Yeah. So if I am very busy to avoid what I'm doing, I'm actually going to get praised for it. Yeah. Even though what I'm actually doing isn't healthy, you know, because I'm avoiding um, but in reality, yes, yeah, society would look on me and say, Hey, that's awesome. Keep it up. Right. Right. Well, I mean, what, what is your opinion? What do you think? Do you think that there's anything more that you can add? I mean, cause you probably work with a lot more people than I do. So, I mean, you probably have a lot more experience with speaking to people on this subject of, uh, you know, whether they even take the time to, I mean, to me, it's like relaxing is a celebration of yourself. Like, oh, good. Yay. Let's just sit back, relax, be with us. And we don't have to do anything, you know? Um, and yet I don't do it as much as I should. So I'm just, cons- I'm just um, curious, you know, what's your experience with, with yourself or your clients? I really think those two summarize what most of my clients would talk about. Um, 
the only other piece that I would add to that would be just going by the societal norm of trying to get ahead. You know, that the harder I work, the more I work, uh, the more I can get ahead. And, you know, maybe I'm not avoiding anything, um, but I just know that if, if I work very hard um, and all the time, then I'm going to be noticed and, you know, people are going to, um, you know, maybe promote me or move, or move me into another position or whatever it might be. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I really think that productivity is, is an issue. And even just uh, last week, and this happens to me a lot, but it actually was last week when I had talked to one of my clients and had mentioned to them, you know, what about taking like a 10-minute, 15-minute little nap yeah. just to kind of recharge just close your eyes don't do anything you don't have to think about anything yeah. you know, i'm not asking them to meditate so it's like don't think do anything just sit there close your eyes the big thing that messed them up was but i'm not doing anything Ooh. you know like what what do you want me to do yeah. you know and, it, and and i kept saying well nothing i just want you to sit there and close your eyes and you know set a timer for like 10 minutes and you might be recharged. But they kept thinking, well, I have to like be sitting in a certain way, right? Or should I be thinking yeah, of something? Yeah. Or should I... analysis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you so think, I, I think. I'm sorry, do you think that comes from guilt? You know, like uh, I, I, I used to call it the slave mentality. Like I work for somebody now, you know, in some of the things that I do, but but I don't like, if I take a break now, I'm like, you know what? I work, I work long and and hard. And when I need a break, then sometimes it's because I didn't even shower this morning until, oh, well, it's two o'clock. Maybe I should finally shower. You know, I don't feel guilty about that. I used to feel like, oh, I got to be at my desk. And what if somebody calls and, you know, I would take my phone in the shower. It was ridiculous, you know, Mm -hmm. but like that's a relaxing thing is just enjoying the shower and cleaning yourself and cleansing and, and doing all that stuff. And so I'm just curious, do you think that maybe that comes from a little bit of guilt from, you know, like I should be doing something all the time. And since I'm not, maybe, you know, maybe somebody's going to catch me on it. Or maybe I, you know, you know what I mean? Like they're going to call me out, uh, you know, a a slacker or something like that, you know? And and that's exactly what I think it is when we talk about, you know, society standards, you know, um, because I, I've mentioned to other clients too, you know, when they'll say, you know, like, oh, you know, I, the other day I took all afternoon and just like watched TV and did nothing. Right. And notice that phrase it's, you know, and did nothing. And the mm-hmm. reason they did is they were tired. They were exhausted mentally, physically, whatever, but they add that phrase and did nothing as if you know, I, that's like a problem or yeah. a, a negative thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, to me, sitting there because of your motivation being self-care, mm. isn't that doing something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, so even if you're vegging by the TV or, you know, falling asleep by the TV or whatever it might be because you realize I need this break. Yeah. Yeah why isn't that considered I'm doing something? Because you are doing something. Yeah. You're doing self-care. As my teacher would say, that is the work. That is the work. Relaxing is the work. You know, and, and when, you're, when you're constantly ignoring the um, intuition to relax when it's time or stop doing what you're doing at the end of the evening or getting up too early or, you know, like you need a day off. Like, I mean, it's been calling to me. I need a day off. And... Mm-hmm. It's like life either says to you, you know, you're going to do it because I'm telling you, hey, I'm whispering in your ear, like, hey, you should take a rest. Or I'm going to knock you flat on your butt and something's going to happen that has you. I mean, you're going to get sick. You're going to have a catch a cold. You're going to, you know, whatever. That's just going to make you have to do nothing because you need to relax. You know, whether it's your spirit or your body or whatever you want to call it, your mind even. That, that's important for us. And, and that's part of, you know, it's not really doing, but it is doing. Mm-hmm. And, and especially in, in the way our society is set up, 
um, you know, we don't build in relaxation time or, or time to mm-hmm. just do nothing. Yeah. So we really do need to listen to our bodies that, you know, the body really does know when it needs to just, you know, pass out, slow down something, um, you know, but, but we don't listen to that anymore. You know, even, you know, when we get sick, what do we do is, you know, start taking all these medicines to feel better as quick as we can. Yeah. You know, and I'm not saying suffer with an illness, but sometimes the illness was caused, like you said, yeah. you know, by the stressors we're under and, and this would be a great time to take a couple extra days and just let the body do what the body's going to do. Yeah. Oh, and, and I, I'll be honest, I'll be the first to admit that I'm one of those people that I don't nap during the day unless um, I'm ill. And, um, you know, and I haven't had a couch. So my, my daughter moved into her own place and I haven't had a couch for probably two months because of COVID. We ordered it and it's been on back order. And what, it's no big deal, but we have been like hanging out. Like my whole family has been hanging out in my bed to watch TV, to relax at nighttime, to do stuff. And it's, a little crowded but i'm saying that like relaxing on the couch i'm not a big tv watcher but my significant other is so that's like our family time we'll we'll all do that together and, and i enjoy it um but i'm saying that like like not having that ability like to go hey let's go hang out in the living room oh the company's coming over let's chill out and you know hang out on the couch <laughs> you, can't, you can't you can't do things like that so it's like uh you know, it makes you really appreciate the, that, you know, it's a luxury to have a couch, you know, or, yeah. or, or even just, just to sit down and, and watch TV and, and have space to spread out. And, uh, you know, so things like that are, are, yeah, most people probably have a couch. I, I kind of feel a little like, you know, out of the norm right now because I don't have a couch. And, and you may be out of the norm right now, but <laughs> well, one of the things I like about, you know, what you're saying with that is, well, for one, I do have a couch, so, huh? Yeah. but yeah. really, <laughs> what, what I like in, in what you're saying is, you know, we can get creative in our relaxing, Yeah. you know, and, and I think that's the important piece, you know, when, when clients, you know, say to me, I I just don't have time to relax or, you know, yeah, I can't nap or I can't do this or, you know, like with you, you know, we don't have a couch to lay down on or, you know, whatever it may be. Well, how do you get creative in doing it? You know, and, and for me, before I started doing all the mindfulness uh, exercises and trying to work on myself when I was really type A and totally stressed out, I did find that 10 minute close my eyes worked for me yeah. because I could shut my office door, set an alarm for 10 minutes. And usually uh, that was a fine thing to do. Just close my eyes. You know, you could be on the phone or whatever. It's just 10 minutes. You're not missing much. Right. Um, but it was enough to just calm things down, you know, where, yeah, sometimes in, in that job, I didn't have a moment to just, you know, say, well, I'm going to go take a walk for an hour or I'm going to go take, you know, a a long lunch. Rarely would that be possible. So let me ask you this, because I I believe that in my uh, my history, I've seen this and you likely have as well. And I would assume other people who are listening will. But I find that when I'm humaning, right, that's that's a verb. It's a it's a verb my teacher shared with me. It's humaning. It's a verb. So we're trying to muscle our way through whatever it is that we're going through, the overwhelm, the stress. But when we just like go, you know what, screw it, whatever, I'm out of here, you know, that's like the relax. That's not, not the, you know, the, the silent forget about you. And, and I'm saying that politely, but um, it's the, it's the like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not dealing with it anymore. I'm just walking away, you know? And it seems like, right at that point that's when it all comes together like when we relax when we like go with the flow of whatever's happening and and just allow it that's when it all falls into place so i mean i think that relaxing is important not just for your body and your mind and your spirit but it's it's important because we don't always get to say when and how and when we're trying to make when and how happen 
it doesn't happen the way we want it to. So when we walk away from it, you're like, you know what? It's just going to happen when it happens. It all of a sudden it happens, you know? <laughs> so I know that was like a really like one of those uh, round and round circle things, but I think it made sense. <laughs> no, it, it definitely does make sense. And, you know, I, I think a lot of it does have to do with mindset, you know, which is kind of what I was hearing from you on that, that, you know, it may not be that moment of when I'm actually relaxing, but that moment that I was able to admit, admit to myself that I need to relax. Yeah. You know, and, and that whole mindset shifts right at that moment. So it doesn't really matter if, if I'm going to lay down and do that, if I'm going to walk and do that or whatever I'm doing, the, the point being I've already changed my mindset. Yeah. Yeah, for so, sure. We can, we can get overwhelmed very easily just because of the thoughts that we're thinking, you know, I mean, and, and that's what I mean by humaning. Like I have, let's say 20 tasks to take care of in my day. And if I start to get like, Oh my gosh, how am I going to get all of this done? Rather than being like, you know what, what happens happens and I'm going to do the best that I can. And if, it doesn't, you know, it's not the end of the world. Usually, you know, in most of our jobs, in some of our jobs, this is the case, but in most of our jobs, nobody's going to die. You know, um, if somebody's house is on fire, there's totally a different experience there. But yeah. in most of our jobs, you know, it's okay. It's not the end of the world if, if, the, if the deadline doesn't get met. And, and most of the time when it doesn't, it's because there was a reason. You know, there's always right. something that happens that it was like, oh, we didn't need that until tomorrow, but thanks for having it to us today. And you're like, oh my God, I just killed myself to do that. Like, okay, I totally need to chill out. So. Yeah, it, exactly. And, you know, when we look at it from that viewpoint and changing our perspective and, you know, which is then changing our thoughts and then that's, you know, changing our attitude, you know, so all of this comes together. And that's one of the things that I've found is kind of my pre-mindful days to now, um, you know, a lot of before when I was very active and doing a, a lot of things, the motivation is what was making it unhealthy. Yeah. You know, so that was all about how do you get ahead? How do you look the best? How do you, you know, handle all of that? So the motivation there where now, yeah, I do a lot. Um, but these are mainly the choices that I've made. So yeah. it, it's not that, you know, I'm now saying, well, I have to do this and have to do that and have to, so that I can jump ahead into something. What I'm now saying is, well, you know, this new project sounds interesting. Yeah. I wouldn't mind trying it. Yeah. I'm going to choose. It. And I think that mindset then in saying, well, I'm going to choose it is very different. So when I look at all the things that I'm doing now, it's not as stressful because I'm realizing I chose all of those for the reasons that they seemed interesting. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like the, what you're saying because um, I call the have to get to like having, like it's the difference between like, I don't really wanna and like, holy crap, guess what I get to do? You know, like, so it's, it's like the grungies. Like it's, I, I have to go to school. I have to go to work. It doesn't make you feel good. It doesn't, there's no warm fuzzy there, you know? So, but when you say, oh, oh I, I get to do this podcast. Yeah, like I get to do this. It makes you excited about what you're getting ready mm -hmm. to create, you know? And so, um, and it takes, it takes stress off of you. It takes that like uh, demand to perform, you know what I mean? Like, I, I would have to say that when, when you and I first started doing our podcast, I was really nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, like, what if I look, you know, I'm just like, I'm just going to be me. And, you know, thankfully Chris brings me back every now and then. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think that we have fun and, and I think that that's important. So um, it, it just taking that step back and relaxing into, to, to being able to do the things that we're doing. And, and hopefully affect other people in the same way. 
And and I totally agree with, with all of that. And, you know, for some of the listeners who might be saying, well, you know, that's really nice that you guys get to choose what you want to do and have fun with it. Yeah. You know, I, I have no choice in this job because I have to pay my bills and it's all I got or, okay, I get it. And, and I've been there too. But yeah, as well. yeah. again, it goes back to mindset. So what are you going to make from this? So sure, you may be working in a job you don't like, some tasks you don't like doing. The whole motivation is I got to pay my bills, take care of my family, you know, whatever yeah. it is. I get it. But within that, can you find some moments of relaxation? Can you find maybe some funny moments some enjoyment here and there is there maybe somebody you work with that you like you know and and start to put your focus there versus the focus on all of the negative things on what you have to do you know just to pay those bills you know what um just to add to that i want to i want to tell them to pretend they're a child and daydream because, you know, like, uh, they call it, there's, there's a word for it. It's not daydreaming anymore. It's Kylego, right? Where you just, you talk about and you get into the feeling of what you actually want to have, but pretend you have it right now. And you get that feeling of having that million dollars or having that beautiful mansion on the water or whatever it is, you know, it's not, not necessarily always about stuff. It could be clarity. It could be, you know, a, a oneness, a better connection with your loved ones. It could be so many things. And at the same time, like when you feel that energy, that's when you start to shift. Like it's, it's coming one step up. It's like, you know, if you're walking up a flight of steps, sometimes we take two steps, but most of the time we're taking one step at a time. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and that's what it is. It's just stepping out of a scarcity mentality into, you know, um, having a little bit more, maybe, maybe sharing your money, you know, and, and then getting to the abundance mentality. It's the muscle that we talk about all the time. And yep, yep, yep. relaxation is the same thing. It, even if it's practicing once an hour for five minutes, just uh, taking a break and, you know, walking around your living room if you're working from home, walking around your building if you're outside, you know, in, a, in an office space, you know, doing things like that or listening to your favorite song. That only takes a couple minutes, you know, and those kind of things will, will really make your life more enjoyable, you know, than oh my God, I was grinding from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Like, Chris, I know you had that kind of day today, you know? So, and now we get to do this and we get to have fun in this conversation, but I guarantee when we're done, I hope you go relax anyway, but I would guarantee that's the plan. That's my plan. That That's part of the plan. First is to get dinner and then definitely. <laughs> I should eat too. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, and, and also, you know, to know that, you know, we're, we're not talking in, in this Pollyanna sense either, because sometimes there are just days, you know, and, and yeah, I mean, today was one of them where I, I was working nonstop in, in tons of projects uh, for a very long time. And, and that usually doesn't happen, um, but today it did, you know, mm -hmm. so... You, you just have to understand that we're not talking, you know, every day can be this way, but you can always take those moments to mm. do things like what you're saying, you know, daydreaming or, you know, just taking a, a quick five minutes or, you know, mm. a, a 10 minute, whatever. Um, we can always find those moments, you know, I, it doesn't matter how bad you are, you know, yeah. I mean, most people get a bathroom break at least. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so jamming in your car in between appointments, you know, turn on your favorite, like turn on your favorite song yeah. and, and sing like nobody's watching. Who cares? You know? Exactly. You yeah. know, and and those are those quick moments that can give you that that bit of you know just regeneration. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, don't squander those moments, regardless of how short they are or whatever, um, because that can change your whole day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. That sounds, sounds uh, beautiful to me. I'm hoping that all these people out here uh, decide to take our listener challenge. And, oh, uh, listener challenge. <laughs> 
you know, uh, and learn to incorporate. I would say let's, you know, give them a, a couple weeks and learn to incorporate some relaxation into your day. It doesn't have to look like meditation. It doesn't have to look like, you know, it could be a walk, a run, a, a call with your mother. That might make you relax. Who knows? Maybe it might stress you out too. But, but you know what I mean? Like you, you take those moments and start to weave them into your day so that you can have an overall uh, better sense of well-being. Yeah, and I, I think that that's an awesome uh, challenge. And, you know, please share with us because that, that is how we all learn. Yeah. Uh, you know, put in some comments here on, a, if you're watching the video version here on, on YouTube or wherever you're listening to this, uh, you know, send comments or send us uh, social media uh, comments. But, you know, really, what is it that you're going to do for the first time, you know, trying it out or what technique has worked for you? You know, and, and the more that we can get, then that's going to help somebody else who might be able to say, hey, I could do that, too. Yeah, and that and changes the whole day. Absolutely. And I have one other thing I'd like to add. I'd love for our listeners to, uh, you know, write to us and, and, and ask about topics they'd like to hear, hear from us. Because, you know, I think we come up with great topics. We have fun with them. But at the same time, you know, there could be something that you're more interested in diving into that you've heard us speak about. And if that's the case, you know, give us a shout on, on our emails, our web pages, or, or even in the comments on our, our, uh, our podcast. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that because uh, I would rather be talking about things that people are interested in. Um, yeah. And uh, otherwise, they're just going to have to listen to what we're talking about. That's it. That's it. I think, <laughs> I, think, I think we're doing pretty good. But, you know, we can always be doing better with your support. Definitely. And, um, you know, our, our listenership keeps going up, which is awesome. Um, and really grateful and thankful to all of you who are listening. So, you know, as each episode we're gaining uh, new listeners, then... Sure, you know, drop us a line that you're a new listener. What do you want to hear us talk about? You know, you're you're doing this for a reason. Well, they might even relax listening to On Finding Peace on on their podcast. <laughs> well, that's how I relax. I <laughs> know, <No>, right? <laughs> well, I really appreciate your time, Chris, and I appreciate everybody listening to us. So, um, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Sounds excellent, and uh, enjoy yourself. Go uh, relax for the rest of the evening, and have a good time. You as well. Get some food. <laughs> uh, that's where I'm headed right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye.